Hello and welcome to the Slingshot Channel. One more episode about the most powerful toy in the world. <laughs> My homemade arrow shooter that uses compressed air. My compressor just showed up, so I can finally pump this up comfortably up to 300 bars. And my first test shot had been uh, surprising. It is now so strong, the recoil is so hard, that I got myself a nice scope eye and almost destroyed my glasses. And, uh, but now I made the stock a little longer, so I can press it better against my shoulder. And it is much more comfortable to shoot now in standing position. Still a little bit awkward when shot from the bipod, but I think it's just that my table is too low. Anyhow, we'll put this through some very interesting tests today. Starting, of course, with a speed test. Okay, and... Whoa! <laughs> That's 111 meters per second. Wow! Flew right through the triple archery mat and then into the mattress and from the mattress <coughs> into the wood. <laughs> wow! All the way of course. So we are at 884 joules, still not quite at the 1000 joule border. I think I have to make the arrow and the uh, barrel a little longer to get to that point. But it is really, really impressive. This is probably overkill, it's almost too strong, come on. <laughs> if there is such a thing. Now we're moving on to different arrowheads. So this is a standard off-the-shelf arrowhead that I had simply mounted on. It's very sharp. The diameter isn't very much larger than the diameter of the aluminum shaft though. And we are testing against this nice block of ballistic gelatin. 20% recipe, 10 kilogram block. Okay, and... Whoa! <laughs> Alright, this fired through the entire block and of course it left the telltelling uh, tracks that only an arrowhead of that caliber would leave. See the sharp, sharp track. And of course it went on on its quest, <coughs> ruining itself, what else, because it embedded pretty much all the way into my, yeah, broadhead's gone. For our next test, I bought this security vest, it's, it's uh, armored. To simulate a human body, I used this old shopping bag and I filled it with dirt, actually some earth from the woods. So this attacker simulates a dirt bag. Quite fitting, don't you think? Let's test first if it's really good enough to withstand some serious force. All right, we take this cheapo knife and try to ram it into the dirt bag attacker. It went in, but it was stopped by the plates inside, just the way how it's supposed to be. Now let's see if it can withstand the force of the super air gun. Let's see what this toy can do. Whoa! <laughs> that is definitely a hit. Okay, so it went through the vest, right through the plate, and actually it went through the entire dirt, and I think it even went into the wood. So this went through the bag, all the way, and it went through the wood, as you can see here, and then the nail bent, almost poking out through the backside. Wow, not bad. Now we're coming to the last and most interesting test. Here's a steel helmet from Bulgaria. Well, I guess 
My head is a little larger than the typical Bulgarian soldier's head. <laughs> anyway, we'll need a special arrow to break that steel. And here is the one I made. It has actually a center punch made by Hazet, quality German company. And um, of course it's hardened steel and it's steel all the way. So this is a stainless steel shaft weighing 400 grams. It's about three times heavier than my aluminum and steel arrows. This probably can punch through a steel helmet. In any case, a good toy is supposed to do that. What is the value of a toy that can't even punch through a steel helmet? <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable, it went through. Look at that, through the helmet, and it crashed right into the wooden bar and almost broke that one too. Wow. Amazing, the homemade toy punch through the steel helmet. <laughs> I have to say I'm totally excited by this. Made all by plumbing and hydraulic parts. Very cheaply done. It's so effective. So, the most dangerous toy in the world. I hope you like it because I do. <laughs> Very much so. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks and bye-bye.